Hey, everyone, welcome back to For Wheels Empire. If you're here, you're probably dealing with the dreaded PO448 error code. This code indicates a problem with your vehicle's VAP system, specifically a short circuit in the vent control circuit. But don't worry, we're going to walk you through the steps to diagnose and fix it. So, what exactly does this mean? The PO448 code triggers when the engine control module, or ECM, detects an issue with the EVAP system's vent valve. This valve is crucial for releasing fuel vapors from the fuel tank to prevent harmful emissions from escaping into the atmosphere. There are a few culprits that commonly cause the PO448 code. Let's break them down. Loose or faulty gas cap. This is the most common reason. Make sure your gas cap is clicked shut all the way. Some caps have a rubber seal that can wear out over time. You can try replacing the cap for a few bucks. Evap purge control valve. This valve controls the flow of vapors into the engine. It can get stuck or malfunction. We'll check for functionality later. Evap system leaks. Leaks in hoses, the canister, or other parts of the system can trigger the code. These leaks can be trickier to find. Check the gas cap. This is the easiest fix. Tighten it all the way and see if the code goes away after a few drives. If not, move on to step two. Inspect the EVAP purge control valve optional. The location can vary by car model. Consult your repair manual or a quick web search to find it. With the engine running, carefully place your finger over the vacuum hose connected to the valve. You should feel a slight suction. If not, the valve might be stuck and need replacing. If the simple checks don't solve the problem, you might have a leak in the EVAP system. Itself, finding these leaks can be a challenge and may require specialized tools like a smoke machine. In that case, it's best to consult a qualified mechanic. Once you fix the issue, you'll need to clear the code from your car's computer. Some vehicles have a reset button, but usually you'll need a scan tool. You can often borrow one from your local auto parts store. After clearing the code, drive your car for a few days and check if the code comes back. By following these steps, you should be able to diagnose and fix the PO448 code in your car. Remember, start with the simple fixes first. If you're not comfortable with any of these steps, don't hesitate to take your car to a mechanic. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and let us know what video you'd like to see next.